Hi, this is Sean. So I bought some blunt stones. Um, these are five fifties. I just thought I'd make a, a short video on them. Um, not really an in-depth review, just my thoughts on them so far. So these are five fifties, and they're in. I think it's called rustic brown. Apparently, these are less waterproof than the other ones. So just bear that in mind if you're going to buy them. Um, I take size ten, and here's the box, and there's my sock. Um, yeah, so I, I, I quite like Blundstones because you see them quite a lot on places like Instagram and they always look cool and, you know, um, I like the fact that they don't have laces and apparently they're very, very comfortable and I bought them as a kind of walking boot, if you like, so something that I can just pull on and wear whenever. They're not incredibly dressy and they're quite chunky as well, so you wouldn't really wear them for a, a smart event not that i go to many of those but that's something to bear in mind i chose the 550 just because I, I, i've got kind of shoes that are a little bit more of a smooth leather so these ones uh, spoke to me a little bit more so they're not goodyear welted or anything like that so apparently the soles are just cemented on so you can't get them resold though some people will do it apparently and I didn't really buy them for the quality, but the, the soles are known for, for being comfortable as well. And they are really comfortable. A bit like, you know, Doc Martens are, are known for having springy kind of soles. These are a bit like that. Um, there are lots of other styles and lots of other colors and things like that. In the box, you get an extra insole. So if they're a little bit too big out the box, then you can put the insole in. I did because I don't know, <laughs> I just did. Um, it seems to be working kind of okay at the moment. What I would say is I've worn these for about 48 hours and they are really, really comfortable. You don't need to break them in or anything like that. I've always been a bit dubious of that idea that you have to break shoes in because if they're not comfortable at first, they're probably never gonna be comfortable as I found with, with Doc Martens. But these, you just, you know, you can just put them on. They're really, really comfortable. They're the most comfortable shoes I own, aside from my trainers. Um, I don't really wear <laughs> comfortable shoes that often. So perhaps that, that's not really, really high praise. But one thing I would say is that the there is a bit of rub in there. Um, and that'll probably go away. Um, but it's not the shoes, it's the leather at the top of the of the upper if you like. So as I said, in the box you get um, another insole um, and you can you can use that if you want, you don't have to. These seems to fit true to size. I'm a, I'm a size 10, but maybe I could have gone to a 9.5, a nine and a half, but um, they do fit fine. And I've been wearing them, like I said, for the last 48 hours and they've been really, really comfortable. And I think they'll be really, really good in terms of, you, know, you don't have to worry about them that much. But as I said, apparently this particular model are less waterproof because of the style of leather. So if you do want them to be waterproof, you do have to treat them um, with something, min coil or, or whatever. So yeah, in, t in terms of my view of these, I think they're really cool. I would definitely recommend them. They're really comfortable. They pretty much go with anything. You can wear them like trainers, but they're not trainers and they look a bit smarter than trainers. And they 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 seem to be quite hard wearing. And obviously they're, they're known in Australia and you know, that's the, they're, they're supposed to be work boots. And they do look really good with various things. So this me wearing them with jeans, just modeling them there. Um, and you see, you do see a lot of hipsters on Instagram wearing them and they do look really good. Um, they seem to be good quality, but obviously they're not good year welted or anything like that or handmade. So don't expect that type of quality and you wouldn't get a pair of handmade shoes for this price anyway. So here's me modeling them. Um, I think they look good. They're a little bit chunky, but not too chunky. And they've got kind of that Doc Martens vibe, but without being Doc Martens, because I'm not a huge fan of Doc Martens. So yeah, tell me what you think of Blundstones in the comments. And if you like the video, please subscribe. And thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.